What did you expect? Welcome, Sonny. Make yourself at home. Marry my daughter. You've got to remember that these are just simple farmers. These are people of the land. The common clay of the New West. You know, morons. Taking you back and knocking you down. You're in the mix with N3 Radio. Good evening once again. It's time to take another journey into the jazz lands with me, your host, R.C., only here on N3 Radio with the best jazz music. And tonight we've got two of Charles Mingus's albums, The Clown from 1957 and Let My Children Hear Music. This will be about one hour and 57 minutes, so let's get right into it. Keep it tuned right here to N3 Radio because you're traveling into the jazz lands. Take it away, Mr. Charles Mingus.
till death as she clutched my hand. I knew she was coming, so I stood like a man. She drew up closer, close enough for me to look into her face and then began to wonder, hadn't I seen her some other place? She beckoned for me to come closer as if to pay an old debt. I knew what she wanted. It wasn't quite time yet. She threw her arms about me as many women had done before. I heard her whisper, you'll never cheat me, never anymore. Darkness and nothing has clouded my mind. I began to realize death was nothing to fear, but something sweet and kind. I pinched to see if I was dreaming, but failed to find bodily form. I then began to realize death had worked her charm. Taking myself of nothingness, I chose a road to walk. I noticed death's pleasantness with no one to stop me to talk. I remembered stories of heaven as I visioned the glow ahead. Two roads lay waiting for me to choose one now that I was dead. One road was dark. I could not see clearly its long stretched highway. The other road was golden and glowing and shining as bright as day. I then remembered stories of pearly gates, golden streets, or how, however those stories were told. I knew I'd reach heaven on this highway. If not, I'd have the gold. I took one footstep, feeling safe and acting bold. Suddenly, I realized my mistake. My chosen road turned black, bittery, and white, cold. No longer was it golden glory nor heaven at its end. White hot flames were blazing, I saw the devil with his grin. I had taken but one footstep, so I turned to hurry back. But there a sound all waited through another door, nor a crack. Finally, coming to my senses, I walked on to my hell. For long before death had called me, my end was planned. Planned, but well.
Coca-Cola glass. I don't give a damn. Providing you with a variety of music with limited interruptions, it's N3 Radio. Catch a ride on the wave with the best in retro wave music beginning at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific every Wednesday with your host Robert here on N3 Radio and at N3Radio.com. M3 Radio in the mix.
this clown. And he was a real happy guy, a real happy guy. He had all these greens and all these yellows and all these oranges bubbling around inside of him. And he had just one thing he wanted in this world. He just wanted to make people laugh. That's all he wanted out of this world. He was a real happy guy. tell you about this clown. He used to raise a sweat every night out on that stage and just wouldn't stop. That's how hard he worked. He was trying to make people laugh. He used to have this cute little gimmick where he had a seal follow him up and down a stepladder, blowing Columbia the gem of the ocean on a B-flat Sears Roebuck model 1322A plastic bugle, a real cute act. But they didn't laugh. Ah, oh, you know, a few little things here and there, but not really. And he was booking out in all these tank towns, playing the Rotary Club and the Kiwanis Club and the American Legion Hall. And he just wasn't making it. And he had all these wonderful things going on inside of him, all these greens and yellows and all these oranges. He's a real happy guy. And all he wanted to do was to make people laugh. That's all he wanted out of this world was to make people laugh. And then something began to grow. Something that just wasn't good began to grow inside of this guy. to trouble this clown. You know, little things. Little things once in a while would happen that would make that crowd begin to move. But they were never the right things. Like, for example, the time the seal got sick on the stage, all over the stage, the crowd just, just broke up. You know, Little things like that. And they weren't supposed to be in the act. And they weren't supposed to be funny. This began to trouble him. began to bother him. This little thing began to grow inside. All those greens and all those oranges, all those yellows. They just weren't as bright as they used to be. And all he wanted to do was to make that crowd laugh. That's all he wanted to do. There was this one night in Dubuque when he was playing this Rotary Club. All these dentists and all these druggists, all these postmen sitting around, and they were a real cold bunch. Nothing was happening. He was leaving the stage when he stumbled over his ladder and fell flat on his face, just flat on his face. And he stands up, he's got this bloody nose, he looks out at the crowd, and that crowd is just rolling on the floor. He's just knocked them flat out. This begins to trouble him even more, and he begins to see something. He begins to see something.
himself a set of football pads, a yellow helmet with red stripes, hired a girl who dropped a five-pound sack of flour on his head every night from maybe 20 feet up. Oh, man, what a bit. That just broke him up every night. But not like the Buke. And all those colors, all those yellows, all those reds, all those oranges, a lot of gray in there now lot of blue. And all he wanted to do was to make this crowd laugh. That's all he wanted out of this world. They were laughing all right. Not like Dubuque, but they were laughing. And the dough started to come in. He was playing the big towns, Chicago, Detroit. And then it was Pittsburgh one night. Real fine town, Pittsburgh, you know. About three quarters way through his act, a rope broke. Down came the backdrop, right on the back of the neck. And he went flat. And something broke. This was it. It hurt way down deep inside. He tried to get up. He looked out at the audience. And you, sh man, you should have, you should have seen that crowd. It was rolling in the aisle. This was bigger than Dubuque. This was bigger than Dubuque. He really had him going. But this was it. This was the last one. This was the last one. Yeah. This was the last one. He knew now. Man, he really knew now. But it was too late. And all he wanted was to make this crowd laugh. Well, they were laughing. But now he knew. That was the end of the clown. And you should have seen the bookings coming here. Man, his agent was on the phone for 24 hours. The Palladium. MCA. William Morris. But it was too late. He really knew now. 
he really knew. He really knew now. William Morris sends regrets.
And three radio is a nonprofit teaching platform for nonprofessionals. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, professional use tips the balance in favor of fair use. It's Thursday night, and you're grabbing drinks with some friends. Start it off with a pitcher for the table, which quickly becomes two. There's pool. And there's the photo booth. All right, everybody, squeeze in. Say cheese. Followed naturally by an order of wings. And another. Can we get some extra ranch sauce? Then there's the ceremonial nightcap. So what are we doing this weekend? And lastly, it's back to the car, which, if you're buzzed... could be the most expensive night of your life. Getting pulled over for buzz driving could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. Nothing kills a buzz like getting pulled over for buzz driving, because buzz driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Play it again. Bud, can't you tell time? There ain't nobody in here, man. Yeah. Come on, Tell the fucking ass back here. Okay. Bud, I heard like the word. No excuses, no apologies, no regrets. Send three radio.